The concept of gridding out space with a metal detector in New York, it just doesn't happen. It, it is too vast. There are too many signals within the span of a space. It doesn't happen. I haven't checked in on uh, Magic Park in a while. I obliterated this place. My friends have obliterated this place. Um, I hunted that very heavily last year, but uh, as they say, never hunted out. I completely, completely believe that. For instance, some of the bigger parks in New York, everybody and their mother knows about Prospect Park. I continue to see amazing stuff pulled from Prospect Park. You have to be able to go deep with your metal detector or separate really well with your metal detector. It's still there. And as the metal detecting technology gets better, more stuff comes out of the ground, whether it be deeper or a spacing issue. This is a good spot. They did some construction, but let's see if it's still got it. Fire it up. The obvious signals are gone, you know, like the ones that are, you know, seven, eight inch pieces of silver. Those are gone everywhere in this park. The stuff that's deeper that you have to really center with your coil, that's still there. And that's the case with uh, with more parks. You really have to be able to hit deep. You really have to have the right detector in order to do so. Solid 13, 14. You know, I have found rings here. Nah, this is not the type I want. Midtones in parks continuously get left behind, but there are some great midtones to be pulled. I have pulled a lot of gold from this park specifically. 16, 17, clear as can be, five arrows down. Kind of a larger pinpoint for a deeper target. Interesting little uh, knickknack. Bullet shell? I don't know. Well, here's something interesting. We got a uh, gold plated clip. Well, I gotta clean that up. Money clip, maybe. Jeez. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. He's gonna dremel it again. Dremel! Perhaps gold plated at one point, but not gold. Junk metal. Oh my god, we left the high tone behind. Just a dimmy. Just like magic, it's still here. And we got Jeff here too. I need to dig. Yeah, man. Welcome back from Florida, man. Thanks, brother, brother. Still here. Oh! Yeah. Well, let's get it. Let's get it, man. This is a quiet 1718 in that it is down. Oh, I forgot about this section. Deep zinc. Now, think about gridding in that context, okay? If you're gridding the park and you suddenly stumble upon an area where you have modern coins very, very, very deep, think of how much time that you're wasting. I do grid, okay? But in an area that I find good stuff, that's where I'm really tuning in. Once I find that, I'm tuned in and I'm gridding. But in terms of gridding an entire park, nope. Move to another section. Got a good deep signal, five arrows down. Localized. Unbelievable. This is like a life preserver for a mouse. I don't know. Old wheel for something. What could this be? This place surprises you. This is either deepest of the deep or iron. Now, take a look at the screen of the detector. You're seeing negative numbers, which are iron, and you're also seeing very, very high signals. And it's a toss-up signal. My complaint so far, and it's a minor one, on the Nocta Legend, is that the iron takes over. You will see in an upcoming video where we lose a piece of silver because of this. It is a great detector. I'm very happy with it, but uh, it needs some fine tuning. We are deep. 
Yeah, we just got a 10 inch down Memorial Penny. Move on. Now, I'm telling you, that buckle that I got, that was shallow. This is deep. This is, uh, this is what I forgot about this place. Uh oh. Super deep. It was, uh, really deep. Really, really deep. Next hole, very deep. Look at this shininess in here. What is this? By far, best signal of the day. Listen. Fantastic. And critics of the Equinox can say, Merrill, we've seen you pull up like the core of the earth in iron with the Equinox. That's fair too. Something deep with a very localized pinpoint. I will admit I have not mastered this yet, but uh, Jeff and Phil swear by it. If you have a deep signal, if it's iron, it is not going to pinpoint locally on the Equinox. Not that time. Small tip of something. Oh snap, we are on the Buffalo. I was not expecting that. I had a signal in here and here, and I was hearing both. One turned out to be a Buffalo. How about that? Yep, Buffalo Nickel. I don't know which one of these that uh, the Buffalo Nickel I just pulled is, but uh, they've been coming fastly and furiously in 2022 in general. That is bizarre. Make that three Zinkins guarding a Buffalo Nickel. How about that? Legit Zinkin spill right there. And a really fat worm. Whoa. What is this? Well, it's copper. That was in the ground. Uh-oh. We are on the button. Jello. Has been unlocked. Now we knew this was a good spot already, but you've heard me say buttons are the gateway drug to finding silver, old silver that is. So I'm slowing down in this spot and I am looking for more. Oh, what is that? Is that a guilt button? Okay, that is pretty epic. Yeah, other side is iron. Oh, we gotta clean this up. Wow, excellent. I believe this button is silver plated and it goes to show that uh, many technologies have advanced Button making, on the other hand, oh, we have gone into the dark ages of button making in our society, and oh, it's a big problem. Well, not really, but I do appreciate old buttons. I think we missed one. I don't hear any iron. We are more than 10 inches down. Deeper, and we're still not even there yet. Hey Jeff, final distance, I would say. I mean, the whole pinpointer's nine, you got this. Uh, I'd say 12, 13 inches. And we have, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> Something, it's got a hole up here. It's still here, we just gotta find it. What is this? Oh, we missed something else. Extremely localized. And it's actually double signal. Let's get this one first. One here. 
and one here. This comes out first. Signal one, we are on the wheat. Number two was sadly a zipper. 16 to 18, sometimes higher, but repeating. It was deep and it's one of these little washers. Egad, we're on the wheat again. Mid-tone. Nope. Very solid. 1920. Seems to be a shot bullet. Gold! Sushi. I do believe we got gold. Oh, gold, gold. This one I took a chance on. What's up, brother? This I've taken a chance on. I do believe, please. That looks like gold, brother. Oh. That looks like gold, brother. Oh. I'd say that's gold, brother. Yeah. Snap. Oh my god, yeah. Snippity snap. Uh, it's got a little engraved. It looks like it opens. Oh snap. Yeah, this opens. It's a locket. Oh. And they didn't lock it very well. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Rang up a 10. I took a chance digging that. Dude, that looks like gold. Oh, that's, that's heavy. Gold. That's heavy. That's gold. There and we it go. It's open too. Oh. Nice. Yeah, thanks, All right. buddy. I gotta get going here. Shall we try to open it? Oh, we're opening it. The keys to the city. Not really. That's gold, dude. Yeah, that's gold. Okay, we're gonna wash that gently. There we nice. go. We just unlocked some sushi. That's why we call this magic park. There's magic in the soil. We've pounded the hell out of this, but it just keeps being magic all right so first of all here is that uh, locket that I found and uh, the gold count is going up this one's actually plated uh, it's a pineapple I gotta leave it there um, this one was a surprise too um, polished it and uh, tested it and it turned out uh, to be uh, somewhere between 10 and 14k so uh, we have one two three four gold rings on the year and uh, a, a total of 17 rings uh, so far we're just waking up the soil it's been a while magic this time it was a caliente rock Deep 14 to 17. I do believe we have another baton. Another baton. A ton of button. That doesn't make sense. Makes no sense, but I'm happy. It's got some details. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. What the hell is this? I'm telling you, you get the wildest stuff here this is possible i was gonna say possible silver but you see the red in there more like copper but this is probably an old earring okay all right these are pretty wild this is the close-up of the button is that a year on there 1920 i don't know rusted in the back but take a look at this I, I thought it was an earring it's a crotal bell for a mouse that's what it is still has the dirt inside I'm assuming that it's copper it's old 
Yeah, this rang up just like the piece of gold. Interesting signal. A lot of iron. Nope. This is screaming deep silver. I don't hear any iron. Go, go, go. Yes, we did. Hagen dies. Has been unlocked. There we go. <laughs> okay. It is just a rosy, but you know what? Considering how much we pounded this place. Okay. There we go. It was on the side of the plug. It wasn't as deep as I thought, but hey, Skilva is Skilva. Well, that's not true. I'm getting a taste of the uh, finer stuff, thanks to Jeff, but um, awesome. Holy crap. Yeah, it's just a uh, balance beam for a mouse. That's all. This one's up in the air. A lot of iron. I think we got Skilvin number two. Ooh, yes, we did. Hagen dies. Has been unlocked. Oh, there we go. This is not going to be one of my prouder moments. It's like a bus. And what letter does bus start with? It's a blinged out bus. There we go. Dude, it's the letter B, clear as day. You just have it sideways. I just blew out one of the windows. <laughs> well, the driver's side is uh, <laughs> probably not safe. Okay, there we go. Now we got the Legend and we got the Deus 2. And uh, both I have used and both are extremely formidable. But in order to do a fair and complete comparison, you need to use what you consider to be, what I consider to be, the industry standard, which is the Equinox. How can we compare if we don't continue to do that? So you're going to see me use really all three detectors over the next few months. And in time, I'm going to decide which one is going to work the best. It could be a sight thing. In other words, like some sites have an advantage for one detector and such, and you'd see me use that detector at one site. But if you really want to know what I think, uh, what is the best, I'm going to use the one that gives me the best chance to succeed. And uh, the good news is all three are extremely formidable. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. It helps my channel grow. Uh, and that subscribe button if you're inspired to do so. So I thank you for watching and see you next time.